اعوذ باللہ السمع علی من الشیطان اللعین الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على سیدنا و نبینا و مولانا ابی القاسم محمد و آلہ الطیبین الطاہرین المعصومین و لعنت اللہ على اعدائہم اجمعین اما بعد فقد قال اللہ فی کتابه الكریم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربنا انزل علینا مائدتا من السماء تکوننا نعیدا لأولنا و آخرنا صلوات محمد وعلى محمد Since it is an occasion of Nowruz, a day which is called an Eid, so I thought I, can, I should speak on this a little bit so that we can <coughs> have some discussion. on the significance of this day, the Nowruz. As it is apparent from its name, it is originally a Farsi word. No means new, <coughs> Ruz means day, so it's new day. And also originally it, it was an Iranian Eid. But not just Iran, and if you see in the history, many other nations also celebrate this as an Eid. And even today, globally, it is recognized as a significant day. But what is the relationship between this day and Islam? Does Islam recognize this day as Eid? So first we need to know what is the significance of this day and the nations who celebrate it as their day of joy and happiness and why. So the reason they say is that, and it is the reason, that a new year is starting with the spring. So now you can go on the internet and you can find out when the spring exactly starts. So there are calculations on what time with minute and second. And these calculations are based on scientific, you know, uh, information. It means, so there is a time when spring starts, and in the entire year, uh, this season is the season which gives happiness to everybody, every human being, not just human being, every um, animals, animals that get, you know, happy that the spring starts and you see a life in this world. You see a new, as, as a new life, kind of resurrection. And also we have some hadith which uh, uh, give the analogy of the spring with the resurrection, bath. Look uh, how uh, uh, things and how people will die and how Allah is going to bring them back to life? See the spring. You will see the spring in your life every year. You see it practically. That how things die and then come back to life. So, significant, you know, significance of this Eid based on the issues that some people like say has nothing to do with Islam. 
In one way, it is true that Islam did not initiate this Eid as an Eid. But there are so many reasons that why we should celebrate it. One, as I said, in the Fihalki Samawati or Ardu Wachtilafi Lady Wan Nahar, La Ayatin Lulil Albab. This is a very beautiful ayat. In the creation of the heavens and earth, in the Fihalki Samawat, heavens and earth, Wachtilafi Lady Wan Nahar, and the coming and going of the night and day, rotation of night and day. Ayatin, there are signs, not for everybody. For those who have clean and clear reasoning. Because the reasoning also, many times, a reasoning can be under the influence of any other thing, any other emotion, any other feeling. Somebody may be biased, so he is, he has reasoning, he is a logical person, but he is biased. So his, his, his reason went un, 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 under the influence of an emotion and something else, some other, you know, feeling. And his aql will not work correctly. Allah says, ulul albab, ulul albab, albab, and then say, it doesn't mean aqil. Aqil and ulil alba. What is the difference between these two? Because Quran also says yaqilun, afala taqilun. But alba is aqil without influence. Real, original aqil given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, human being. So if a child grows up with that original aqil, without external influence or feelings or emotions overcoming this aql, this aql is original aql is called lub. And the, and the plural of lub is albab, the people of albab, the people of lub, the people who have clean and clear aql. So if somebody has really clear and clean aql, he looks to this universe and he reaches to his God, his Rabb. Inna fi khalqi samawati wa ard. Why are you asking for evidence of existence of God? Why are you asking somebody else? Look around and you will find your God. Inna fi khalqi samawati wa ard. Wa akhtilaf al layl wa al nahar. La ayatin. There are signs. There are signs. You will see it. Al ladina yadhkurun Allah qiyaman wa qu'udan. Now, not every, look, not, it is not sign for every human being. I think this ayat is so much related to today, you know, the sig you know, significance of Nauruz. This is one aspect of Nauruz. Spring started, New Year started, a new life started, and everybody has to think about this natural phenomena. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how he changes the world. The whole world is changing. Everything is changing. And you can feel the change. You can feel yourself. This day is different from yesterday. The weather, the look of the things. You see the, the plants are growing, started growing. So everything is changing. It's giving you a kind of happiness. Natural, natural happiness. So when you think about this, and you reflect on the seasons that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us four seasons, reflect on them. How they happen? Reflect on them based on science, scientifically. This scientifically thinking is in the khalqi samawati wal ard. Whoever thinks a scientist, Quran is, 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 is referring to this scientist. But the problem with the scientist, if he is just only scientist, he is looking to this beautiful change. But 
he is considering it as just something natural is going on. He's not thinking beyond that. He's not going into depth reasoning. How? Why? How? So his how and why is just material. He should go even beyond that. That's why Quran immediately said, not every Ulul Albab, not everybody who is Aqil, no. The one who has Aqil without influence, not everybody who has Aqil without influence, no. الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهِ قِيَامًا وَقُعُودًا وَعَلَى جُنُوبِهِ so these are signs for those people who when see the sign. Sign means what? It is sign. Sign of what? There is a signboard. Of a signboard of what? It says Islamic Education Center. Are you going to stop there on the sign? Just looking at the sign? The sign is to make you reach to Islamic Education Center. This sign is not Islamic Education Center. It is sign to direct you to reach to a building which is called the Islamic Education Center. La ayatin, there are signs. So the scientist stops on this sign. He says, okay, oh, good sign board. It's a very good sign. But sign of what? Go to the, si to the real, you know, destination which this sign is referring to, is directing to. Yathkurun Allah. So that's why this always do dhikr of Allah. They remember Allah. Qiyaman, while standing, while sitting, while lying down. Wa ala junubihim. Laying down on their side, any side. So when you look, you know, you know, somebody is laying down, there are three positions. In any position, Allah junub him, all the positions. They remember Allah. So how it is possible that you sit, you, okay, there are three positions for a human being anyway. Now you are sitting, right? You can stand up or sit or lay, or lie down. Three, three situations. Even if you're doing ruku, you are standing. From standing, you're doing the ruku. You will consider a standing person. So either you, you stand or you sit or you lay down. In all these three positions, Allah says they remember Allah. يَذْكُرُونَ Allah, قِيَامًا وَقُعُودًا وَعَلَى جُنُوبِهِمْ In every position, they remember Allah. So how is it possible? Where the work will go, where the studies will go. He said, yes. Dhikr doesn't mean saying something. Sometimes dhikr means invoking the name. But in Arabic, the dhikr refers to two meanings. One, invoking the name, the word, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Ya Allah, Ya Rahman. So you are invoking the name. This is dhikr with tongue. Another meaning for dhikr in Arabic is to remember. Do anything you're doing, talk anything you are, you know, trying to talk. Say whatever you're saying, do whatever you're doing, but keep in mind always Allah. Standing, sitting, laying down in any position, any situation. In all situations, there are Dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. So this Nauruz is what? It's a sign. A sign of existence of Allah. A sign of mercy of the creator. Signs of uh, his might. Signs of his rububiyyah, his nourishment, you know, that he gives everybody, every, every time, the sustenance and, 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 and all the bounties uh, and grace, the sign of that is no rules. So we are not talking about it is Islamic significance yet. It is just see that if it is a regular sign, 
but it's something that makes us reach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why this is one. The second thing that, yeah, this is true. Look, some people, you know, get very emotional and start, uh, you know, giving some statements which I would say is not logical at least. The least thing I can say is not logical statements. Like a star is speaking against no rules. Fine. If you don't want to celebrate no rules, there is no wajib. And to some, you know, uh, to some extent we can say it is even not mustahab. Fine. So why should you stop somebody who is doing it? Is it haram? This is the question. If it is haram, you stop it. Yes, stop. What are you doing? This bid'at. This is haram. How is bid'at? How is haram? Offering salat. So what originally Islam never fought against people's traditions. This never happened. Unless those traditions went against the real concept of Tawheed. Or against the hukuk and the rights of people. For example, there are so many examples in, in, in human history. Hajj, the traditions of Hajj, many of those traditions are the same. Islam accepted those as, as they were, you know, practiced at that time. The people who practice Tawaf, for example. This is change that made it more decent, with more modesty, more organized, yes. But the same, same thing, they were going around the Kaaba. And other, more other things. They would, they would kiss Hajar al-Aswad. It's fine, let them kiss it. Let Muslims kiss Hajar al-Aswad. They would consider four months as very respected months. Ashhurul Hurum for Islam said was fine. We also respect these four. Why these four? The same were which were respected in the time of Jahiliya. Those mushriks would, would, would respect these four months. Islam said fine. We also respect them. Four. Why Islam didn't say no, no, we'll respect all twelve together. Same thing. No, no, it's fine. So some traditions which were good traditions which were not against Islam or the real essence and spirit of Islam, Islam says it's fine, no problem. Same thing about no rules. So there are so many ahadith and riwayat. Even in, in, in the time of the Prophet, in the time of Amir al-Mumin, and other a'imma. So we see, and there is so much mention about this uh, occasion, but look, as always, as this is, this is the way how Islam deals with the situations. What our a'imma have done, they did not fought against it. It is not, what is this? Why you do this? This is haram. This bit at as some people who have less knowledge today, they start just speaking for no reason. It's fine. You can speak a little bit. You say, okay, it has no significance in Islam. Fine. Go and sit down. But you're fighting against it just like this is something bid'at. This is something, oh my God. There are so many haram things going on. Stop them. This is not haram. What is the problem? If, if, even the animals are happy today. Animals. With the changing of this beautiful weather started. If, if I'm as a human being, I'm getting happy. What is the problem with you? What is the problem with you? Okay. If reflecting on this, this Qudrat of Allah, Allah's creation, if I say, subhanallah, 
if I say, Ya Muhawwil, Ya Muqallib al-Qulubi, Absar, Ya Mudabbir al-Layli wal-Nahr, so meaningful dua. And if I say, Muhawwil halana bi Oh Allah, change our situation in the best situation. You change this world, the whole world is changed today. You change the entire weather, entire thing. As I just said, that you, you gave life to dead. Ya Allah, today. How will Halan you change us also in the best situations? What is wrong with that? So what our Imams have done, they did not say, no, don't do it. Show me any riwayat which says, Imam says, don't do. No rules. It's forbidden, it's haram. Any one single, even da'if riwayat, bring it. Yes. They did not say, celebrate it as Eid. Or come on, let's do it. There were, you know, reasons. But they gave a good direction to this uh, tradition. And it is what? Read this dua, read this salat. If this is a day of joy, this is the real message we receive from Nowruz and from a hadith about Nowruz. We forget this real message and start talking here and there. The message is that whenever you are happy, don't do satanic things. Don't do things which are against your religion. No such gathering should be there. What you should do? Remember Allah. Allah This sign of Allah. Remember Allah. Thank God as you do in your Eid, Islamic Eid, Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha. What you do? Did any... Any of our leaders say, go astaghfirullah and dance and have music and do whatever you want to do and do any gunah is fine, is it Eid? No. If it is Eid, you are happy, come do sajda. Come say thank you to Allah. Come remember God. Get closer to Allah in your happiness. This is Eid in Nauru. But other, okay, these are two. The third reason, here I could say, that we should celebrate it based on the third reason, I mean, you know. So first reason, as I said, is this is, is a day of happiness for every human being, or the entire creation. We are part of human being, we are part of creation. One, the second reason is that our imams never stopped it, Let, uh, you, know, you know, our imams encouraged to do some good Ibadat in this day. The third real reason is for us, the followers of Ahlul Bayt, is that there are riwayat, and so many things happen in this day in the history. One of them is that Ghadir coincided on Eid al Okay. It could be hard for some people before, but now it's easy for even a child to go on the internet and check there are dead converters and find out. You will see very close. It comes to 16 or 17 the Hijjah. It's fine. One day difference, it could be there. Even Eid al is not always on 21st. Tahwil is not always on 21st of Tahwil was yesterday, on 20th. So one day difference here also happens. And one or two days difference can happen on, uh, in, in, in the Islamic months. So if you go, it is very close or on it, you will find the calculations. So Eid, yani, Eid al Ghadir was on this day. So we now have the right to celebrate based on both dates. Eid al-Ghadir, Eid al-Nawruz. Originally Eid al-Wilaya we can call it. So this is one of the reasons. I think this, since this is the reason that's why people are very sensitive about it. 
There are two reasons. One, because it is Irani. If you, Allah says in Quran, don't, don't make your decisions based on uh, hatred towards any community. Let's say Iranians are bad people, fine. But if they are doing something good, why don't we accept it? First of all, this is not just Irani aid. I don't have time to give you all the list. So many nations in the world celebrate it as a day of happiness. This is one. So maybe some hatred towards Iranis, and the second hatred is maybe towards the light of Amir al Mu'min. So you see that people, they start speaking, emailing against no rules and has no significance in Islam. Ask the same people. I'll tell you, if, if you want to gauge their ikhlas, if they are really mukhlis, fine, it's, it's good. Maybe somebody is sincere. He wants to remove anything which is not Islamic from the society. That's very good. He may be... His, his intention is good. Why should we think wrong about him? But think, see him, check him on other occasions. For there is totally haram gathering. Is he there? There is, there is no doubt of being haram. Is he encouraging it? If he's not there, if he's not encouraging, is he really sending emails just like this one? Is he really speaking against those haram like this one? So he's, he's speaking against something which is not haram. Yes, it is not Islamic. Cutting the cake is Islamic in your birthday. Is it Islamic? No, it's not Islamic. But if it is not Islamic, it is not against Islam. Is it? So it is not against Islam. So everybody does it. And we say, fine, do it. As long as as long as it is not against Islam. But why this sensitivity about no rules? Why? So, you have to think about it. If you see anybody speaking against no rules, just check him, you have to check him. Especially if somebody who is follower of Ahlul Bayt, other people that talk, we don't care. But if other people talk against it, you have to check him, check his ikhlas. In brief, Eid al Nowruz is a day of joy, a day of happiness, a day of thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for so many reasons. One is natural reason, the second is, is spiritual and religious reason of Wilayat Amir al Mu'min Somebody told me, no, I, ch uh, I checked so many calculators, dead calculators, but it didn't give me exact 18 of the Hijjah. Yeah, it could be. But you know what? Eid al-Ghadir is not one day. It was not, not one day occasion. At least three day occasion. It was three days. Rasulullah kept them for three days there. Come here, sit. So do, why? Even if it is close, I would, I would call it Eid. Why not? If it is very close, it is very close. It's coming under this, you know, this three-day calculation. If, if, if you are considering this, these calculators are so really accurate calculators after 1400 years. Three days, two days difference. So no, 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 it's not exactly on this. And if, even, even if it came exactly on this, no, the tahwil time is not exactly in the time when Imam, Imam was announced as, as Mawla. So it is not exactly on that time. It's coming, no, no, it's not exactly the same, you know, minute. So it has no end. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us lub and aql and, and count us among ulul albab. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count us among the followers of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wassalam. 
And may Allah shower his blessings always in our life and make it always uh, to look like a spring as he gives this bahar and spring to this world. May Allah give us in our life always. Amen. And may Allah uh, hasten in the reappearance of our Imam, Ajrullah Farajahu Sharif, and keep us among his supporters and companions. In the Hassan Hadith, وأبلغ المعرض كتاب الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر